Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are listening to today's podcast episode. It is yours truly, Nicole and Sweeney, and welcome to the Life After Her podcast. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to week 14. I can't believe that we're already in week 14. And today's podcast episode is entitled Outstanding Balance. Now, this weekend is Mother's Day weekend, and I hope you guys are celebrating the ladies that are around you. So, happy Mother's Day, happy Sisterhood Day, happy Lady Day, happy Auntie Day, happy Godmom Day, whatever your role is, make it happy, and I pray you are blessed and that you are treated like the queen you deserve. So, fellas, if you're watching this, make sure you do something nice for the lady in your life, whether it's a sister, an auntie, your mom, your wife, whoever that may be, make sure you celebrate them today. So... Happy Women's Day and Mother's Day weekend. All right, guys. Outstanding balance. I'm sure you can probably guess what this podcast episode is about. Mama Black and Papa Black are well behind on their rent. And they have an outstanding balance of $1,560. Now, remember, if you have been keeping up, you all know that Mama and Papa Black do not make a lot of money. They are actually struggling financially. So the balance that they have is a lot for them to be able to pay off. And quite frankly, they just don't have it. So what happens? Since they have an outstanding balance, Papa Black and Mama Black discuss amongst themselves that they have to ask for help. So Papa Black ended up going to his supervisor at work and asking if he could help out with some portion of the outstanding balance that was owed on their rent. That morning, Papa Black went to his supervisor's office, Mr. Rich. And he asked them if he could help pay the balance or at least give something towards it. Mr. Ritz replied very honestly and compassionately and said, I'll see what I can do. I'll let you know by the end of the workday. So, of course, Papa Black humbly said thank you. He appreciated the gesture and even considering giving money towards the outstanding balance. Papa Black went back to work. He, of course, had a stressful day that day because he is trying to figure out how he he is going to provide for his family, how he's going to come up with the money, and all these different thoughts are going through his head. So he continues working throughout the day. The end of the day comes, and Mr. Ritz calls Papa Black into his office to let him know what he is able to give him. That moment, Mr. Ritz gives Papa Black a check for $560. What a blessing. That amount helped some of what Mama and Papa Black needed. Papa Black, of course, was thankful. He appreciated receiving that much amount because it could have been zero dollars but Papa Black was so appreciative. By the time he got home he went into the leasing office just to put that down until he came up with the rest and see if they would negotiate it with him but unfortunately that was not enough. So I can't give you guys any more. You have to go and purchase the book to find out what happened. Or tune in next week for episode number 15 to find out if they are able to still live in their apartment or will they end up homeless. I don't know, guys. You have to tune in next week or get the book. So that is all I'm going to share with you on today. And I want to share with you today's podcast episode 
affirmation. And that is, when we don't know what's ahead, we have to trust that God knows. He will lead us to the answer in our next step. Life is full of uncertainty. We don't know what's going to happen in the next second, the next minute, the next hour, the next month, or even well into the future. But God knows. God knows all things. So we have to trust that no matter what we are experiencing in life, God knows the answer. And he will show us what our next move should be. So go before him in prayer. Constantly speak to God throughout your day. Get in your Bible and read what the Word says about you as His child and your relationship with Him. He wants to share with you. So let me repeat that affirmation again because I really want you to let it sit in your spirit as you go through life. When we don't know what's ahead, we have to trust that God knows. He will lead us to the answer in our next step. So, when we operate with God, we are never without a plan. God knows what our next move will be. So, take heart and courage in that alone. When we don't know, God knows. Alright guys, thank you so much for tuning in again during today's podcast episode number 14, Outstanding Balance, and I look forward to seeing seeing and and listening to you all next week. All right, guys, and don't forget that God is proud of you. Take care. Bye.